Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. You guys have been emailing me a lot recently with a couple of documents along the same topic. This one here and this one here. Russia's MiG-31 crews are shooting at Ukrainian pilots from 100 miles away and Ukrainians can't shoot back. This is about the idea that Russian long-range air-to-air aircraft like the MiG-31 Foxhound are using long-range air-to-air missiles just going into production as we speak, like the R-37M and the R or K-77M, missiles with ranges of over 100 miles. Here's another one, even more exciting one. Extreme range kill on Ukraine's top fighter was an Su-57, not an air defense system. This talks about an incident in September where a Ukrainian Su-27 was shot down near the Belgorod region and it was shot down from a reported distance of 217 kilometers, making it by far the longest range fighter shoot down on record. This report states that it was actually not an S-300 V4 slash S-400 SAM system, but was in fact Russia's newest fighter, the Su-57. Now, how accurate are these documents? We don't know. They could be real or they could be fake. But today, we're going to look at how this would be possible to make an air-to-air -air kill of over 100 miles. The first thing to point out is that the radar on the aircraft that is firing the missile can almost certainly not see over 100 miles. Airborne radars in relatively small fighter aircraft just aren't that powerful, at least against fighter-sized targets. Instead, you have to use a modern long-range missile that can be guided on a data link. The great thing about a data link is that it can be provided by a third party, like a really big radar in an AWACS-type aircraft or a radar on a SAM site. The missile can be fired from the fighter aircraft but guided in via the AWACS or other large ground radars. That's how these huge air-to-air -air missile kills, if they are true, are being made. And we're going to show that happening today. So today it's just myself and Simba. We are Russian today. We are going to start from a Russian base here, several hundred miles away from the front line. Here, above the Sea of Azov, is the Ukraine-Russian border. We're just putting a very simple map up today. Here is an AWACS, well within Russian territory. Here in southern eastern Ukraine are three Ukrainian aircraft operating, doing patrols. Note, they're not particularly close to their border. In this case, they are 120 nautical miles away. The helicopter is very low down. The jets are at medium and high altitudes. They are legacy Cold War platforms with a radar cross-section of about 5 meters squared apiece. We are going to take off and we're going to attempt to shoot these fighters down at a range of over 100 miles without us going over the border. So we're going to stay safe in the confines of Russia but have our missiles loft into Ukraine, be guided in via our AWACS and hopefully hit the targets. The AWACS is roughly 150 nautical miles, but that's not a problem. AWACS can see all the way out to 300 nautical miles away for a fighter-sized target and maybe 500 miles for a high, large target. The aircraft we're going to use are MiG-31 and Su-57 because that's what it showed in those documents. Our MiG-31 is going to be carrying two R-37M modernized axe head missiles a range of over 120 nautical miles our su-57 is going to be the same with two axe heads if you watch grim reapers videos you'll know that we are in the process of making and regulating all of the world's modern air-to-air -air missiles note that we haven't yet made an axe head. These missiles do not belong to us. I think they were made by Cuban Ace, or if I've got that wrong, but they're made by someone else. So they're not going to be regulated. They will probably not be very realistic in their way they maneuver. They will probably be way too powerful and way too fast. Eventually, when we get around to it, we will make our own versions of these. But for today, as proof of concept, they'll do. Simba, we will take off. We will head 200 miles north to the border region. We're going to try and pick the hostiles up, launch our missiles, try and get the kills, and then go home. How do you think today is going to go i mean i'm flying the uh tried and true mig 31 classic russian technology that's proven to work so i'll get the kill i don't know about you and that new flashy stuff in fact i think i might actually swap it around thinking about it sim but i might actually put you in the su-57 and me in the tried and tested mig 31 uh we're gonna argue about it stand by 
I won the argument and I get the MiG-31. Ha ha ha. Okay, Simba, first we're going to take off and release in three, two, one, go. Ooh, ha <laughs> ha, very powerful. Big, heavy Tonka. Evel. And right pull. Simba on coming off the gas until you catch up. Nope, stay on it. I'll catch you soon. Burners relit. Although I like the uh, movie sound effects where it sounds like you're constantly in a F3 flyby in the airplane. Yes, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> you notice that. You are catching up. Look at that. Superior power to weight ratio, Simba. All right. Spriggin shove off. Right, we're going through the clouds. Try not to lose me. Oh, we're through the clouds. Man, these things are fast. And leveling out. Supersonic yet? Yeah, not quite. Autopilot on. Come and join my side. There is something cool about big Russian fighters. There we go. All right. Settle in, get a movie on, get some coffee. We'll see you in about 200 miles time. Welcome back. We are 80 nautical miles from the border. Simba, I'm going to split up to take top cover and look high. You stay down low about 10, 15,000 feet. And let's see what we can find. Just keep on the same vector pretty much. One thing this is good at is going very fast and very high. 25,000. Thirty thousand. Leveling off. Going for one more climb. Sorry about the weird sun reflections, viewers. I don't know why it's doing it at the moment. All right. Over 30,000 feet, that'll do me for now. Your target's on data link. Right, uh, there should be three in AO, but I'm guessing the two will probably be the fighters. If that's true, I would rather have you on the right one, which is slightly higher. I'll go for the left one, I'll, I'll drop some missiles on him. To so start targeting, but we're not in firing range of the missile yet. Okay, let's see what we can see here. I've got nothing yet at the moment, I don't know why. Maybe you've got a better yeah, radar. Yeah. No, I don't have them on the radar. I just hmm. have them on data link. Got my own data link down there, by the way, viewers. It's kind of hard to see. But you can see them there. Don't know which one is which yet. According to AWACS, we should be on a heading of about 277. My targets seem off to the right for some reason. I still got now. Oh, yes, right. First target. All right. We're okay, the information's coming through to our system here now. Okay, Simba's 20,000 feet, I'm over 30,000 feet. Have you managed to make any locks yet, Simba? Uh, just got a lock on the right one. Right, okay. How many targets can you see, Simba? Two. Oh, I, for some reason, still only got one target, which is quite boring. Oh no, two targets popped up. Right, okay, right. I'm slightly on the wrong vector, that's my bad. All right, well, I'm going to make the assumption, Simba, that the two targets are the two uh, planes. So I'm going to go for le I'm going to go for lefty, which should be the harder target, I think. You go for righty. And um, I know we can't lock yet. All right. Yep, I've got a lock. Oh, you got a lock. Right, uh, Simba. I'm going to ask you to fire first. I'm going to come and watch you. Simba, fire at will. You'll need your launch authority override. Good luck. There it goes. All right, I'm gonna do mine. One for good luck.
In real life, these missiles would loft really high, over 100,000 feet, but in game, for user missiles in game, you're not allowed to do that. We have to have our missiles only loft slightly right. Here we go. As well as that, the speed. Like I said, they're not uh, GR-regulated missiles, so they will go stupid sci-fi fast, unfortunately. Uh, not much we can do about that, I'm afraid. We, like I said, we may, will make our own versions, and we will keep our versions in check with reality. I'm going to slow down a bit. There's no need for me to charge ahead now. Okay, the missiles are over the border. Yours is <laughs> 3,600 not About Mach, I don't know, 8 or something ridiculous. The real missile can't go that fast, by the way. This if one. Simba launched it, it could. Mine's 4,000 knots. That's like Mark 10 or something. This is a bit silly. Never mind. Never mind. Grin and bear it. And we're nowhere near the border yet. Okay, Simba, I'm watching your missile. We're still probably over 100 miles between our plane and their plane. And he does not even see that sucker coming. He's not ready for that at all, is he? That's a kill, Simba. Big fat warhead. Axe head. Woohoo! You've got a kill, uh, Simba. Uh, form up with me. Mine are coming in now. Big fat axe heads. So I'm going to get a kill. He didn't see him coming. They're coming in so fast, he doesn't even get a chance to dodge. Wow. <laughs> Alright, easy proof concept. Oh sweet, my plane's stalling. Right, probably when that happens. Simba, form up with me and we will go home. That is all. Oh, I've seen the helicopter. I'm going to have a quick pop at the helicopter. No, I haven't. Doesn't matter, it was just a dying body. Right, let's go. Get the heck out of here. Roger. Autopilot on, ready for the trip home. Yep, I got you. Coming to you. I got you. I probably shouldn't be in the clouds, Simba. I'm going to go above the clouds. Yep. Yeah, I'm above the clouds now. There I am, Simba. Ping. Let's go. Right. I'm going to stick call out. Uh, about to go faster because I'm aware that we're different. But I'm putting my cans on. We've got ages to go, so we'll see you back at base, valued humanoids. That's what you really are. Welcome back, valued humans, to literally some time later. There is our Simba. Uh, Simba, base should be ahead of us somewhere. I'm going autopilot off. And they're going to drop down. I've never actually landed one of these before. Have you ever landed one of those? We usually don't survive our missions, do we? Nope. I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, let me know if you see a base. Wrong. Let me know if you see a base. Oh, I think I just saw it. Yep, left. Uh... There it is. Yep. Alrighty then. Follow me. In fact, Simba, let's celebrate by shooting down our prey. In fact, they celebrate by getting the longest missile kill in history, apparently, uh, with a buzz of the tower and cans lit. No, Dimitri, the pattern is full. Maximum speed. Simba? I felt Maximum like speed. Grumpnik stayed home. Maximum yeah, maybe speed. this. Maybe he's in the tower. Yes, he is. I reckon he might be in the Maximum tower. Speed. I'd love to know where the tower is, by the way. Maximum speed. There it is. We're going to go to the tower now. Maximum speed. Boom! Grumpenick! Alright, Simba Wimba. Let's go and land. Follow me. Watch this go wrong. Nav mode. Check. Air brake. Check. Turning on base. I'm going to go for the big runway because we've got big heavy fighters. Alright, do the flaps work in this. Sweet! No flaps. Alrighty then. What could go wrong with that? Fine. Does the gear work? No gear. Huh. How about that, Simba? Maybe I'm going too fast. Let's try that again. Gear. A sweet, sweet modded jet, Simba. Right, I've got to land without gear because flaps and gear are not freaking work. Oh, the flaps are working. Just the gear. I can't get the gear out. Huh. Uh, nope, your gear's down. Is it? 
Oh, it is. Confirmed. It must have had a uh, speed limitation. Oh, there you go, value viewers. Who would have known? Right, uh, I'm still going to try and make the landing. Are you with me? Yeah. Dimitri will not like okay. this in debrief. Oh, down. I'm running out of runway. Oh, hello, Simba. I can only apologise. I had a bit of a moment. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Parachute, parachute. Oh, <laughs> We may have had a uh, small moment. You know what? That's probably not that unrealistic for a Russian landing. They do like to celebrate, Simba. Oh, look, and you hit the little thing as well. Oh, well, I mean, I had, one, yeah, Simba. I had one of the 12 prototypes. <laughs> yeah, 16, 16 prototypes, Simba. I mustn't get myself in trouble, Mr. Putin. Valley viewers, uh, I don't know why we did that, but we showed that it is possible at least to use a modern missile, even if it's a bit unrealistic, to shoot down a Ukrainian fighter at over 100 miles, where he would have no chance of firing back because his radar couldn't see us and his missile couldn't guide on a Ukrainian data link. Anything you want to add, Simba? I notice I'm on fire and you're not. I can't even eject. I press eject and the screen just goes up. Wow, these planes, yo. Yeah, well, it's because uh, mine's made of Stalinium. Old 1980s technology. Valley viewers, I hope you kind of enjoyed that, and we'll see you later.